Hey, Benji, how are you? Oh, one second. <clears throat> Hope you're doing well, Benji. Yeah, before we do jump into KOTOR, let's go ahead... KOTOR 2, I should say. Let's go ahead and do the daily readings, and then we will go ahead and jump in. So the readings for November 7th, 2023, Tuesday of the 31st week in Ordinary Time. The first reading for today is from Romans chapter 12, verse 5 through 16 AB. <clears throat> Pardon me. Brothers and sisters, we, though many, are one body in Christ, and individually parts of one another. Since we have gifts that differ according to the according to the grace given to us, let us exercise them. If prophecy in proposition of the faith, if ministry in ministering, if one is a teacher in teaching, if one exhorts in exhortation, if one contributes in generosity, if one is over others with diligence, if one does acts of mercy with cheerfulness, but love be sincere, hate what is evil, hold on to what is good. You know what? Why don't I do this? Hold on to what is good, love one another without with mutual affection, anticipate one another in showing honor. Do not grow slack in zeal. Be fervent in spirit. Serve the Lord. Rejoice in hope. Endure in affliction. Persevere in prayer. Contribute to the needs of the Holy Ones. Exercise hospitality. Bless those who persecute you. Bless and do not curse them. Rejoice with those who rejoice. Weep with those who weep. Have the same regard for one another, and do not be haughty, but associate with the lowly. The Psalm for today is Psalm 131. In you, Lord, I have found my peace. O Lord, my heart is not proud nor are my eyes haughty. I busy not myself with great things, nor with things too sublime for me. In you, O Lord, I have found my peace. Nay, rather, I have stilled and quieted my soul like a weaned child, like a weaned child on its mother's lap. So is my soul within me. In you, O Lord, I have found my peace. O Israel, hope in the Lord, both now and forever. In you, O Lord, I have found my peace. Alleluia, alleluia. Come to me, all you who labor and are burdened, and I will give you rest, says the Lord. Alleluia, alleluia. The Gospel for today is from Luke chapter 14, verse 15 through 24. One of those at table with Jesus said to him, Blessed is the one who will dine in the kingdom of God. He replied to him, A man gave a great dinner to which he invited many. When the time for the dinner came, he dispatched his servant to say to those invited, Come, everyone is now ready. But one by one, they all began to excuse themselves. The first said to him, I have purchased a field and must go examine it. I ask you, consider me excused. Another said, I have purchased five yoke of oxen, and I am I'm at Bibba, and I am on my way to evaluate them. I ask you, consider me excused. Another said, I have just married a woman, and therefore I cannot come. The servant went and reported this to his master. Then the master of the house, in a rage, commanded his servant, Go out quickly into the streets and alleys of the town, and bring in here the poor and the crippled, the blind and the lame. The servant reported, <clears throat> Sir, your orders have been carried out, and still there is room. The master then ordered to the servant, Go out to the highways and hedgerows, and make people come in, that my home may be filled. For I tell you, none of these men will, who were invited will taste my dinner. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise be to you, Lord Jesus Christ. In the Father, Son, Holy Spirit, Amen. It's going pretty well. Uh, how about yourself, Benji? Hey, Seneca, how are you? I hope everybody's doing well. Let me, oh, gotta do one more thing. Don't want to forget this, because if I don't remember to turn the audio on. Uh, honestly, KOTOR 2 isn't, KOTOR isn't as enjoyable without the audio. I wouldn't say it's necessary, but I would say it is definitely more enjoyable with the audio. Hope everybody's doing all right today. Doing well today, I should say. I don't think we had a big problem with you guys last time. Oh, hey. They're fighting each other. I shall make you of course! Always! I typically go ahead and try to always do a, uh, reading before I start streaming. Oh, sir, Benji, I'd appreciate it if you did. I mean, fully get that, yeah. I mean, obviously, it's not... I'm sorry. I'm trying to think of how to phrase it. I was going to say... I'm trying. I was gonna say it's not required, but I do obviously appreciate being here. I'm trying not to be rude with that, and now I'm worrying that I'm accidentally coming off rude because I'm trying to be hospitable and not a jerk. <laughs> but now I'm not sure if how I'm, what I'm trying to say is coming off the way intended. So it's like, oh good. And go, did it? Oh, excellent! From. Always good to find another Catholic, Benji. Dad raised you in the faith. Nice. I'd say if you're interested, we do know of a lot of. Um, Catholic streamers. Anton, what are you doing? Buddy. Pal. Friend of mine. You don't do that. That's creepy. Yeah, I was gonna say, obviously, I guess I should, uh, obviously this is a stream for everybody, but we do encourage 
I appreciate it, Benji. Thank you. Obviously, we do want people to grow in the faith or come home to the faith, since I do honestly believe it is the faith that God gave us. It's the church that Jesus Christ established. There we go. I can't talk today. Even though I should be able to. But yeah, uh, I'm trying to be a bit better about it, because typically I'll also end with um, some reading, either theology or catechism. So I'm trying to be better about that. I unfortunately fell out, not on purpose, just something kind of... I didn't fall out with the faith, I just fell out of that habit. To play the game. I'm not very good with my words this morning, am I? That's alright, that happens sometimes. Yeah, as I say, fellow Catholic and Star Wars The Old Republic player, let's go. You'll love to see it. Yeah, I was gonna say, um... Cynic, you might be able to do this. If you type in exclamation point streamers and then streamers 2, you might be able to go ahead and get all the list of Catholic streamers. I don't know if only I can do that. If it's only you, I'll go ahead and... If it's only me, I'll go ahead and do that afterwards. I need to update the list as is. It, it is out of date at this point. There's like five or six I need to update. Time to I need to do that. More where that came from. Nice. Yeah, they admittedly, I, I do not play the Old Republic. I somewhat considered it, but I already... I already play Final Fantasy XIV. I do not need to get into another MMO, honestly. It's it's hard enough with just one MMO. I, and then going to two would make it even harder. Stream 2, but you only game? I'd be willing to go. I mean, that's enough for me, honestly. I'd be willing to go ahead and add you to that list. Let me... Remind me that you stream later, and I'll go ahead and follow you. The only reason I don't want to do it at the moment is because if I pop out of KOTOR, it could cause issues. May not necessarily, but since it has to do... It has to do full screen and I can't... Um, I have to capture my, my uh, entire monitor instead of just the um, game itself. Time to Which isn't that big of an size. issue, but it's still a huh, little odd. You are no match. More where that came from. This is revealed. More where that came from. Oh, nice. Yeah, we really haven't gotten many uh, Guitar Heroes or Rock bands lately, have we? And as I say, I don't think either of those really came to PC, uh, did they? Oh, good. Then as I was gonna say, it's like you could, you two can play it together. Then that's nice. More where that came from. Admittedly, the main reason I probably think that Kotor One feels so much shorter than Kotor Two. One second. Yeah, okay. Is because I think most of the time you mainly hit level 20. Where in KOTOR 2, it's like, I think you typically hit closer to level 30 by the end of the game. I could be misremembering on that, but... It just feels like a longer game. Not that that's a bad thing. I'm just thinking. Adhesive grenade... Time to take you down to size. Friends and family guild on it. There's that's kind of dead at the moment. Not many. In it. Oh, that's unfortunate. I understand that how that goes though. Lately, I just sometimes play PvP with my brothers and my Star Kirk character. I understand. I'm trying to play more 14. Honestly, I've only had time for PvP. This is just like I, I want to play more, but there's no time. Between my exercise, uh, raising a family, etc., like a lot of activities, and just. Which isn't a bad thing, it's just I am frequently busy. I was gonna say, I'm surprised you guys aren't fighting one another. 
More where that came from. More where that came from. Did you guys know that there's more where that came from? It's true. I keep hearing it over and over. You more where that came from. More where that came from. More where that came from. Of course, yeah, I was gonna say definitely interested in that, and I understand. Obviously, not everybody's going to do uh, Twitch stream the same way, which I understand. I was say, there's no shame in that, honestly. It's like, n not every Twitch stream has to be the same, and it's like, you know, you can still have other channels where you know that type of thing. So yeah, not a bad thing at all. Ooh, my neck. You're all right, Benji. I have Asperger's myself. I understand all too well. What's going on over there? What is going on over there? Yeah, I guess we'll find out. Oh, once we cross over, that is. We still got other stuff on this side. Honestly, my Asperger's more so plays into my insecurities than me repeating my- although I do repeat myself, too. But basically, the point being, I do get it. A lot. So you're fine. You're getting some decent armor in here. I don't know if it's any that any of us can wear, though. I'd rather armor upgrades. I think. I don't know. I'll have to go back and check through all this when we're done. That's fine. Got that. Admittedly, I am surprised that those enemies that were spawning earlier aren't po- It is a- it is a coincidence here, right? Because I say, they don't really call it Asperger's much these days, but I'm sure they will in the next 20 years again. They fluctuate between what they, uh, call it and what they don't call it. You know, you'd really think there'd be some spider enemies in here. I do really love KOTOR 1 and KOTOR 2. I, I think I forgot to put them on my top 50 games list now that I think about it. I would definitely put them on my top 50. I don't know how high... Probably at least top 30. I can't believe I forgot to do that, actually. Never mind, I know what that glimmer was now. Where would that came from? This way. Listen, you said the assassins aren't really doing much, I'm gonna be honest. I now see why they wanted you to go through the uh Whatchamacallit first, they wanted you to go through this, uh, the Sith Training Academy. That way you weren't spoiled by the fact that the Sith are here. Alright, fair enough, game. Understandable, have a nice day. Alright. Nope. Means there's gonna be more there in a second. I do really like KOTOR 1 and KOTOR 2 though. I don't play them as often as I probably should. Alright. No.
We'll see. That's definitely a possibility, though. As I said, that's gotta be... Yeah, okay. I don't think we have anything here. Yeah, I think I prefer not being smacked by critical hits, I'm gonna be honest. That wouldn't be bad. Maybe I should get my constitution up a bit. Yeah, I guess I should get my constitution. What is my constitution at? Technically, it's at 16, but that must mean it's boosted by something. Alright, we'll have to go ahead and see what it's at here in a second. Hey, hisses. I was wondering where these guys were. Hey, some came from behind, too. More where that came from. Or just moved? Might have just moved, actually. I mean, if some more of you want to spawn, I'm fine with free experience. Don't get me wrong. The power I felt coming through the cave is just ahead. I believe you are strong enough to explore the tomb ahead. This tomb has not been plundered. Its mysteries may still be intact, but so might its traps. Take great caution. Okay. What is that? Can't go any further. I sense a great presence within this tomb. Master, it calls to you. You will have to face the challenges of this tomb alone. Are you ready? Yeah, I'd like to save. Oh, okay. I guess I'll save after this. It was my fault. I said I was ready. Probably should have saved first. Do not heed the words of the Jedi Council. The Republic will fall if we do not act now. Already the Mandalorians have taken three systems along the rim. They will only grow more powerful with time. Come stand with me. We will use our might to help the Republic in its time of need. Join Revan and I. Together we will battle this menace. The Jedi Council is wise, but will take too long to deal with this threat. We must act now to stop the Mandalorians. I have heard of you. Your masters speak well of you, of your skills in battle. Join us. The Mandalorians must be stopped, and if the war ends with their defeat, then anything else is a small price to pay. The Council seems content to watch, to debate, while entire systems fall to the Mandalorians. If we don't act now, there may be no Republic army to assist in the future. I sense you will join us. What are your reasons? Who we truly are is defined by our actions. To deny your actions is to deny yourself, your nature. You show weakness with your words. It was within our power to end the war, and the Council chose to debate behind closed doors while planets burned. Their vaunted wisdom bred only in action. 
And that would have led to destruction greater than anything born of the dark side. Oh, we're gonna have to fight everybody, aren't we? All right. So, if you could do it all again, the real question is, would you? The Mandalorians await on the edge of space, eager to crush the Republic. You know how this turns out. Would you do it any different, knowing what it costs you? Knowing what it costs the rest? So do you see so far that you know that it would be for the best? Such arrogance. Oh, Bathlet is turning against us. Interesting. And now you are all alone. Would you join me now? You didn't follow Revan and I down our path. Join us. Your journey hasn't ended yet. She didn't join us that day, but in time, she came to our way of thinking. And even before then, she wavered and wondered what would have happened. It is a familiar path. There were those who wished to follow you to war, yet remain behind. They came to hate you for the choices they wish to make. Are you so certain? Every step along the way, we did what we thought was right. Perhaps the same path lays before you, but the time of words are done. Now it is time you experienced the full power of the dark side. Oh boy! Now I will save. I'll check the journal entry too. Confirm with the vision of the past when Malak recruited you and other Jedi for the Mandalorian Wars. You had a choice whether to go or not with Malak and the others. Well, we did get our points back. Probably should heal just to play it safe, honestly. Probably be a bad idea if I chose not to save or er, heal. I'm interested that the Shyrak worms are harder, but they don't give you more experience, which is interesting to me. Not like it's required or anything, but it's like I like I like stuff. I like loot. Nothing else in here aside from that rubble. But there's no Barney rubble. That was a bad joke. I'm sorry. Pretty sure we need to go straight, but I like to explore everything. But it is interesting, I mean, the force has not been regenerating there. This is far though, I'm aware. Okay. HP is regenerated though.
The data pad is blown and inoperable. However, its final message remains burnt into the, into the display. The others were confident they could sneak past the Shirek breeding grounds. I was ordered to lock the door and wait their return. I hope they can find a way out of this tomb. These videos, these visitors trying to break through all the discipline of gained in my training. Fair enough. Discover the data pad of a member of a Jedi expedition to explore the hidden tomb. Further exploration of the tomb may reveal what became of the members of the expedition. Well, that is clear. <laughs> Probably should have done battle meditation, honestly, to make this go faster, but that's alright. I am curious to brood. Will provide more experience. No less, in fact. Okay, then, game. That's a little strange, but whatever. Not really upset, but surprised. Surprise is a good word, I'd say. Ooh, 112, dang. 127. Hold on, I'll go fight them in a second. I'll see if there's a- oh, okay, they're coming to me. Never mind, I'll fight them down. I do wonder why the broods are worth, worth less experience. Maybe they just hit less? Not that big a deal, but it's just something I'm curious about, you know? I am really looking forward to the, uh, the new content that we'll get to, get to today, though. Alright, hold on. Why'd they all go red? What is that? What is this? Does battle meditation do something else that I forgot about? Possible. Check it in a second. It might give more of a negative. It might give a negative to them too, which is possible. Can't remember. Oh, it does actually. Interesting. Interesting, okay. No items in this room, huh? Fascinating. Not that I'm upset by that, just thought there would have been.
I'm trying to remember any games that are coming out anytime somewhat soon that I'm looking forward to. And aside from Super Mario RPG, I'm not really thinking of any else at the moment. I guess there's a new Dragon Quest game coming out. Okay, that probably means I should save before I go through. Tom says we've lost another heavy droid transport. How can we break through the Mandalorian lines without support? The path is mined and the place is crawling with enemies. I know we've got our orders to press forward, but we're at quarter strength. We can't, General. It's impossible. We need to retreat. General, it would be suicide to go forward. There's just too few of us. We already lost half the men just getting to the path. They've got the rest of the company pinned down by the crash site. You can't possibly ask the troops to go forward. If you ask us to charge, will it make a difference? Will our sacrifice mean something? We will press forward if you ask it. The path is mined. If you ask us to charge, there will be losses, General. Thank you, General. Thank you. That was uh, animation. Why, why are we shimmying in as we recover the mine? So where is my demolitions at? Yeah, that's not bad actually, I'll be honest. Yeah, I can't believe there wasn't a mine expert in the Republic, honestly, that's like, yeah, let me just disable those mines for you. It's like, not really sure the logic on that one, but eh. And now we fight. Oh, Shyrex and Mandalorians, interesting, okay. I'm surprised that one hasn't died yet. Hey, Tom, how are you? Sounds good, Cynic. I appreciate you being here. Good morning, Max. How much longer are you going to be on? I have to go on a walk, but it should be back in half an hour, or maybe 45 minutes. I'll be on for about another three hours. I'm not planning to end today until about one o'clock my time. So two o'clock your time. I am doing a... Uh, mainly during the winter, I will be starting my bike rides at one because it'll at least be somewhat warmer than today. It should be fine either way, honestly. Because we have a high of 60. But yeah, basically I'm planning to start streaming um, from about 10 your time until 2 your time most days. Just got a little bit of a late start this morning. Not too crazy of a late start, but a little bit. And for Mondays and Tuesdays. For Wednesdays, I'm planning to stream for one hour at night, and that's about it. I like to stream more, but there's reasons why I can't at the moment. And they're all job related. Which is fair. Sounds good, Tom. Thank you for being here. God bless. Enjoy your walk. Okay, there's a hisses. Is it hisses or herses? I'm sorry, that was a bad joke. Psst. 
The worst part is I'll probably make that joke again too. I'm surprised I didn't make it last time. What? No loot? Unfortunate. Okay. Alright. I'm surprised there's only one. I thought there'd be more. Yes, I do love being immune to critical hits while the enemy themselves are not. It is... Something that I appreciate. So that's probably the right way to go since we have to stab that door. So I'd like to go check out what's the other path. Well, maybe it doesn't. find out in a second here. Oh, that was the Shyrock breeding grounds, and we go, went ahead and wiped them out. Alright, fair enough, game. Dead Jedi. Uh, Shaboka... Zaboka, not Shaboka, pardon me. And a dead Jedi. Not missing his hand. He's supposed to be missing his hand. Let's see. Improved Ion Energy Cell and Neblish says data pad. This is the journal of the De Jedi Neblish. Most of the data has been purposely deleted. One of three the visions, the visions. They thought to trick me by taking the form of my fellow Jedi, but my discipline is so strong, I tricked them back. One fell to the Shyrock, and the others fell to my lightsaber. Let's see, you face a second vision, depicting one of your bloodiest battles during the Mandalorian Wars. You had to choose whether or not to repeat the orders you gave long ago, which resulted in many casualties. Okay, different, different one. Dif different one. Ooh, another hisses. Multiple hisses. And that wasn't too bad. But I did appreciate the experience points. Oh, right, I wanted to see what level we were. Or how close we're- oh, we're really close to level, and we should be able to get another level out of this before we, uh, finish. I'll do one more heal. We should have plenty of, uh, that. That should be fine. That's what I'm trying to say. Alrighty, then. You are to be commended for making it this far. You've revisited the dark moments of your past, and now you must face the present. Interesting that they're giving her her Darth... What's her... I'm gonna call it name. I can't remember her name at the moment. Your confusion is natural. The others and I will help you understand. Get away from her! She's a dark Jedi. I've had enough of your snide contempt. I will protect myself from this foul-mouthed ruffian. Hey, what's the commotion here? Stay out of this, Beodor. This is a personal dispute between Atten and myself. You're threatening Atten with a lightsaber, and I'm supposed to just stay out of it? No.
Hey, it's teammate. The three of you would challenge me? You sorely underestimate the power of the Force. I mean, Athen has again, the power of the Force. Kraya. Your dark influence will end. Your friends are all arrayed against me. Will you stand for this? You, of all people, would judge me so. Am I not worthy of redemption? She's not wrong. She is worthy of redemption. I'd like to think they would listen if I told them, hey, don't do that. But what do I know? Don't do that. That's wrong. No. I mean, don't get me wrong, we all know Kraya's not on the up and up, but... Be a little close one. So that was gonna be a close one. Oh dang, glad I saved then. As I said, the dark side is there may be more te search the room you are in. No, no dark side points, thanks. Now we should fare much better. Not gonna lie. You overestimate the power of the tomb. Any change you feel is coming from within yourself. 
Instinctually, you Dark side points game is like, no, we're not gonna go ahead and let that happen, Cynic. We're gonna go back in time and win. They will lead you <laughs> in conquering the many challenges that the future holds for you. Surely you have felt what awaits. Events are shaping themselves about you, seeking to draw you into their center. Take care not to give in to vanity and arrogance. This breeds complacency and stagnation, as exhibited by the Jedi Council. And by the dark side, bro. Their prolonged inaction led inevitably to their downfall. The galaxy will bend itself only to those of strength and conviction. Eh, yeah, not entirely, but somewhat understand. You may not yet understand. Search the room you are in. Yay, and another lightsaber, and a level up. Little Crush's armband and war sword. All right, that makes sense. Dark side only. Fair enough. And we got war sword is also. Uh, maybe not. I think I'm gonna use it, but where? There it is. Damage bonus plus two dark side. Well, we don't have that. Upgradable too. Ah, okay, that's what I was curious about. Wasn't gonna use it, but It was a bit challenging, really. I won't deny that. I'm doing light side playthrough. Pretty yeah, I was gonna say, um... So, pretty good is this character, Cynic. Uh, for KOTOR 1, we named him Wensley Dale, which I, 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 I liked the idea. The, um, so... Roswell suggested that for the first one, and it's like, well, I may as well keep going with the cheese theme. It just works well. But yeah, definitely doing a light side playthrough. I I don't think I've ever done a dark side playthrough. Maybe I will one of these days. I just I don't like it. <laughs> I like doing I like doing light side. Nobody else here. Oh hey, they let you do that. That's neat. Maybe one day I'll do a dark side, but it's definitely not. Something that I thought about too much, admittedly. I do kind of want to increase tree injury more, but. Let's see. That would not be bad at all, actually. Right, okay. That would be good eventually, honestly. It would make sense to grab that. I don't want it quite yet. Let's see. Don't need that. That would be good. It would also be good. There's there's things we need to grab. I guess I should go ahead and go with that. Let's see, what does that do? It would also be good, but... It would also be good, but I think we do want to go ahead and do this for the time being. We'll do this and we'll do that eventually. I 
I don't really need smart tunes, bro. Let's see. No. I still don't know why slow is a dark side power. Well, maybe because of what it becomes. I'm not really sure what else I want here, honestly. Hmm. Honestly, maybe getting some more powers that I could use during combat isn't the worst choice, honestly. I believe it, it's it's tough to make like a character that's fully dark if you're especially from a Catholic perspective, because you obviously in real life, it's like obviously it's just a game. But you don't really want to fully reflect that in a video game. Like even for Fallout, I haven't done that, and I don't like doing that for Fallout, truth be told. Or other such games. Why do we have two weapon fighting you? You don't use two weapons. You use a wisha wisha. I don't know why we did it that way then. That's pretty stupid of us, admittedly. Also, we should probably grab this. I don't know why we haven't grabbed that for you yet. That alone will probably help her a lot. Actually, I don't think I started working on this one yet. We should work on that for our character next time, but not right now. Yeah, I think that'll go ahead and... Well, we do have strength, but if we go ahead and do dexterity instead... That's not exactly awful. 5 to 27, or let's see. And I guess that's better for the time being. We do need to work on that eventually. Yeah, that's better. Yeah, I mean... Alright. That'd be good. We can get him another lightsaber here in a second, so that'll be good too. Actually, we can do that right now. I hear you. I'll have to go ahead and upgrade that, but at least now you have two lightsabers. I don't know if the short lightsabers have an advantage or anything, like they attack faster. I would assume they do. It would make some sense. Yeah, alright, I guess it's time for the restored content. Done everything we can do here. Which I'm looking forward to. I have not touched the restored content yet. I am very much so looking forward to it. Honestly, I am kind of curious about wanting to do a dark side playthrough at some point. <laughs> or like just an evil character in any of the games I mentioned, like Fallout. But it's just like... Because I'm curious how the gameplay would be changed and like how uh, the story would be changed and all the stuff would be changed. It's just not something I've ever been interested in and I probably never will have an interest in it. 
Like, even before I reverted back to the faith, I never had an interest in it, honestly. It just doing stuff that's immoral. I, I don't want to say evil in this case. I want to say immoral. It's just something that's never been interesting. Oh, you mean where uh, everybody ganged up on Kraya? Is that the one you mean, Cynic? Because I did go ahead and defend Kraya in that case. Because she was like, oh, don't you mean I can't go ahead and have redemption? It's like, okay, Kraya, you got a good argument. You're not going to go ahead and redeem yourself. I know you're not going to redeem yourself. But you got a good argument. And technically, my character shouldn't know that she's not going to redeem herself at this point. So like, all right, fine. Yes, you, we, should, we should go ahead and give you the chance to redeem yourself. And in a real situation, my teammates would go ahead and listen. They'd stand down. This is just a vision. I thought there was going to be a cutscene. It certainly looked like it for a second. I'm also curious how much this mod restores. It'll be curious to see. Statement. Answer. Many organic meatbags find that question difficult to answer, Master. But I believe I can provide you with a satisfactory definition. Definition. Love is making a shot to the knees of a target 120 kilometers away using an Aerotech sniper rifle with a tri-light scope. Statement. This definition, I am told, is subject to interpretation. Obviously, love is a matter of odds. Not many meatbags could make such a shot. And strangely enough, not many meatbags would derive love from it. Yet for me, love is knowing your target, putting them in your targeting reticle, and together achieving a singular purpose against statistically long odds. Stake. That was a definition of love. I don't agree with it. <laughs> Unsurprisingly. Yes. Is there something you wish to do for me? As anxious as I am to give away all my trade secrets, you will understand if I choose not to answer such questions. The fact we are even having a conversation is gratitude. Usually, my conversations do not have the give and take that our current interaction does. And, of course, there is much more screaming on the part of the listener when the torture field is activated. I am willing to... There are several factors, all of which affect each other. There is the stabilization of Dantooine, the preservation of the restoration efforts on Telos, the political resolution on Onderon, and the unification of a religious power base in the galaxy, either Jedi or Sith. A Catholic. You have stabilized Dantooine. The Republic has gained a power base in the Outer Rim. Onderon is an Outer Rim world, rich in ecological resources. Its aggressive ecology is capable of bringing devastated worlds back to life. It is currently experiencing a political schism split between two forces. One must triumph for the planet to be stabilized. Telos is instrumental to the stability of the Republic. Its success or failure will dictate the economic forecasts of many other worlds. Of course, since the destruction of the Paragas facility, the odds of the Telos restoration project being successfully completed is close to zero. Of course it was. If you had not gone there, the facility would not have been destroyed. If you had simply surrendered to the Sith, then all of that violence would have been unnecessary. I hope you do not decide that the next thing that must be destroyed to stop the Sith is the galaxy itself. Perhaps one must ask themselves at what point defending your religious ideals is advantageous to the Republic as a whole. Nah. As long as your defense does not exterminate more than 50% of those you intend to help, is that acceptable? 
Sounds like that. Because the Republic has no reason to investigate otherwise, and any discovery of their true purpose has been concealed by well timed accidents. Because their behavior is predictable, of course. By monitoring their presence, I know which worlds will suffer civil wars, planetary conflicts, and Republic bombardment. Of course they are. They're unless you why don't you Okay. I am Now now that would be telling. For now, my presence must remain a secret, and it may remain that way forever. You may it has been assigned to guard and protect you. As such, it is well suited for a variety of tasks. It is skilled in intimidation, interrogation, and can provide a series of select skills that will make it an effective killing machine. For the most part, it will follow your orders unless they conflict with mine. Then its proton core will detonate, turning this ship into space dust. There is no negotiation in this. I will not allow you to interfere with my operations and plans. This unit comes with a droid scrambler that you may use against mechanized opponents to randomize their defensive and offensive protocols. Use it and it will cause droids to wage a civil war in their programming and they will turn on their allies. Interesting. Its power source is not limited. In addition, this unit comes equipped with a portable cloaking How droll. I didn't really want to gain his influence, but eh. Goto is not my favorite character, unsurprisingly. Something up? Oh, yeah? All right, I think I've got it. Something up? All right. I guess that's it. All right, let's head to the new planet. No. No. Where is it? Teammate. Okay. Can you salvage any data? Can you? Let's see. It has the location of where he and Master Vash have gone. Vash's lack of activity on the data pad was burned to the screen when he broke it, so you can retrieve the uh, coordinates. Awesome. We now have the coordinates to M478. Great job, teammate. What a good teammate. Did you know Mandalore? Once? What happened? Of course I want to know. Who's left behind? By who? Master? And you're master, but why? Yes, I want to see the hollow record. Record.
Where's the audio? Maybe it was meant to be here, but never actually got added in. I can see that. Let's get going now. Well, I don't really know if we talked to you much, Mira. I can't remember. Talk. Why, you trying to be my mother? No thanks. Already had one. Somewhere. No thanks. I didn't need friends on Narsha. Go ahead. Look, before we get into a game of guess the Pazak card, pull back on the throttle. I don't know. Yeah. Talk. Sure, very easy. That's why I dress like this. When they're looking down to check you out, you can usually smash them on the base of the skull or deliver an uppercut that knocks them flat. She's not wrong. It's simple. When you want a man, you jab him with a boffin stunner, then while he's screaming in pain, slap some stun cuffs on him. Then starve him for two or three days until he becomes open to suggestion, then double check his bounty and see if he's worth anything. Call it what you want. Me? Shoot. It's all this traveling. Being trapped in the ship. Everything Audio is overrated. How are you doing, Father Evan? It's just too quiet. I'd rather be doing something, somewhere with people, activity, some life. Yeah, it's been a while since I've been off planet. I guess I got used to it. Well, Nar Shada may be one of the biggest cesspits in the galaxy, but it's got a life to it. Activity, aliens, people, refugees. It's like noise, but relaxing. Mm, pardon me. Like the hum of a hyperdrive. Yeah, well, I wouldn't go that. No thanks. You can keep your Jedi training. All right. Look, before we get into a, go ahead. I didn't kill him once. That's a long story. Not a talk. Shoot. I've killed people before. I know. It's different. I don't know why. I don't know. I, I haven't killed anyone for a long time. But when I'm around you, suddenly it's like I've always yeah, been glad to hear that. It's like a I reflex. mean, admittedly, we don't, don't want to kill like people, it. but it's kind of hard and sometimes when, when you're, why, you know, fighting people. So easy. Not all right. Something unpleasant. That's yeah. Made it. It's custom for me, which is a good thing because I wouldn't want anyone using it against me. I can show you how to make rockets, though, if you'd like. All it requires is a good skill with demolitions. Anything else? Go ahead. Maybe now we can talk. Yeah, something wrong. Talk. Why, are you trying to be my mother? No thanks. She talk. All right. Look. It's all the I'd rather Yeah. Well, Narshada, maybe it's got a lot. Yeah? Hmm. Yeah, right. Save the philosophy for the Yeah, well... Uh... And more iPhone scan. Yeah, something wrong. Talk. Why, are you trying to be my... No thanks. Shoot. Talk. Why, are you trying to be my... No thanks. Alright. I didn't... That's a long story. Talk. Wait. Go ahead. Let's see. 
Yeah, more or less. Well, the war happened. The first one against oh, the Mandalorians. Okay. That family right Lightsaber goes whoopsie stabby, right? It's not really a new story. Not trying to do it on purpose to. sometimes. It's, it's just after the war. Well, lightsaber doesn't have a stun mode. That's all. About. I mean, it kind of would be nice if the lightsabers did have a stun mode. I think so. After Revan crushed the Mandalorians, planets throughout the Republic were flooded with refugees. And I was just one of the others. Me? I got passage to Nar Shadda. From there, not much you can do, so... I Light baton, yeah. I'm good at finding people. So I used it to make credits. Not if you know your target. Usually you get a hollow, a rough description, and then you just sort of listen to it, get a feel for him or her, then start walking. And this is a little hard to explain, but narshada has got a flow, a life to it. You see all kinds of aliens and life there, and it's got currents. You know your target, you can feel them know where they're going to go and sometimes you know where they're going to be before they do i'm good at finding people because when they're lost or out of place it's like ah oh, i was hoping for some more okay influence that's all right whatever all right now we seriously will go do a new content here in a second i want to see if i can upgrade the lightsaber anymore yeah actually i should check this out too nothing there okay much here admittedly maybe we should go ahead and check out the orange lightsaber see what we can do with that at least it has a little something going for Aton that way bronze okay the bronze and bondar look the same which is interesting to me better than nothing Let's see what we can make. I was hoping we could make some uh, upgrades, honestly. Oh, wait, there we go. Okay. Need some more demolitions. Okay. Unfortunately, we don't have as high in that as I'd like. And I don't exactly have a suspicion that... Awareness 8. Oh, what? What do you mean I can't? Oh, Awareness 9, I guess. Okay. I understand now. All right. Admittedly, might be a little something here that we could do. Let's see. Treat injury. Regeneration 3 isn't exactly awful. Constitution. Let's see. Treat injury. That wouldn't be too... That actually would not be too bad. We gotta wait a little bit longer for that, though. I wish we could craft with our other members, but... Maybe we can. Maybe I just haven't figured it out. Crafting is useful, but it would be more useful if you could use your party members as well. That way you could use their talents and skills, but... It is what it is. Maybe I should have saved before we left in case we run into that issue again. Obviously hoping we don't run into that issue, but I know that we did have that last time, so... Oh, this looks very different. Like, I get that this is restored content, but it's like... 
I don't blame them. It's just like, yeah, this is... Yup. This is a thing. Well, that makes me worry. Oh no. Should be fine. Alright. Alright. Seems like it... It minimized out for a second, but it seems fine. All right, I'll I'll take it. Acceptable. Uh, being stuck on a door, not acceptable. There we go. Okay. The question is, are we going to have voice acting for this? And my guess is... We've hit the ground. Oh. Something feels wrong here. An adequate job, pilot. Perhaps here there is some trace of those who pursue us. I sense that we may be truly alone on the surface. It orbits dead in space. Nothing lives on its surface. This place feels strange. It's like... everything's just too quiet. An entire planet wiped clean of life. This place unsettles me. Just be careful, General. There are signs of life on the surface. So don't worry, you won't be quite as lonesome as she makes out. Although, I think that the pilot's mechanical devices are probably accurate. If there are Sith here, their numbers are few. It is the droid world. It is unknown to all but a few. Oh, I do not think so. Oh, cool. You would be surprised at how little I care about what you think. Just consider this one of the galaxy's many mysteries. But it's unknowns like that that make you so entertaining. Droids gather while we wait here. Hold on, game. I don't know why you've all of a sudden stopped asking me this, but I do want people to come with me, in fact. Immediately, I do find it really int like, yeah, this definitely looks like it's not fully finished, which, you know, fair enough. It's restored content. I'm actually surprised there's even voices here, honestly. They must have recorded it uh, in advance, thinking they'd get time to it, and then it's like, no, nope. LOL. Thanks, Lucas. Hello, I am LS44, and I'm going to leave this area immediately. The central zone has been flooded with radiation, and it is lethal to all organic life forms. If you entered, you would surely be killed. I do not know. Shortly after the arrival of some recent visitors, communications with the facility ceased to function, and my sensors detected lethal levels of radiation. There were two visitors. A male organic and a female organic. But yeah, we need to go that in. That's all I know. I am afraid that is not possible. My programming will not allow me to open the doors to any organic life forms until radiation output has been reduced to safe levels. Yes, my programming will allow. What about three droids? droids? We have three droids, so why not? Which of your droids would you like to send in? Yeah, I want to do teammate. He's my favorite. <laughs> He's my favorite. We should have enough stuff that we can upgrade him to, so.
Okay. Repair would be good. Yeah, we can do that. Do a level of 13. So he has at least gotten some levels. Oh, we can't make him dual wield. Probably is not a bad idea, honestly. Can't have him dual wield, it's probably the better way to phrase that, honestly, as opposed to saying we can make him. That's good. Probably should do that soon. do some others, but Dexterity is probably not a bad one still. Yeah, we'll do this one for the time being. wouldn't be bad either, but we'll keep going with dexterity for the time being, I guess. Your constitution wouldn't be bad either. Yeah, okay. Now we can make him have a slightly better... Let's see, defense bonus. Defense is 34 at the moment. 37? Okay. Generation 3. Interesting. Okay. Defense bonus. That's, that's hard to pass up, honestly. I didn't see the defense bonus there at first. Also not bad, admittedly. That's also not bad. Bird perception sensors. I think the fighting upgrade is still the best one, though. Your ability is not bad, obviously. I think the self-sustaining unit is the way to go, though, in terms of that. We have a droid, better droid deflector mark, so... Or 18, you say? Two to 14, all right. It is fully upgradable. We shall have to look into that then. I think then. Because if the Mandalorian Ripper is unstoppable, that wouldn't be a bad idea to go ahead and upgrade that because then it's like, yeah, you can't stop this damage, so.
much health do we have? 312, not a small amount. nice to have some new content for a game that you know you love and you played a couple times as i said already not enough as i would like but still okay so to assist you during your visit in the colony. I possess the highest qualifications and the most up-to-date information about the colony of all the guidance and advisory units here in the central zone. So please, if you have any questions or need any kind of advice, consult exclusively with me. Now please, tell me what subjects are in your area of interest. You want to erase the radiation from the air in the colony? Unfortunately, I am afraid I do not possess the technical knowledge necessary to help you in this task. However, IS-18, being responsible for monitoring and controlling the air quality in the colony, will be in possession of all the information needed on this subject. IS-18 is currently working on a solution to the high radiation content in the air. Get down to the ventilation chamber at the far end of the industrial zone if you wish to speak with him. Is there Enough. anything else you wish to know? You want to hear again about... Unfortunately, however, okay. I am... Is there... Thank you. No offense, but I usually don't interact with... That's very rude of you. Fair enough. All right. Well, I will say the fact that we have droids here again that we fought earlier is of a little bit of concern, I would say. The gonk droid. It is cool to see every other types of droids though. That is one thing we never really did get to see much of in Code War 1 or 2. We didn't get to see that many droids. Also that shadow is acting up. Definitely recognize you, though. We fought a couple of you in the first game. You just cannot leave anything in this colony in the side distance of those cleaning units. When did we get these T3 units? I appreciate everything that they did, honestly, but some of it sounds very... It's Force Field, huh? Huh! Huh! Wonder what's up with Dan!
What's up with that, guys? Is this a, is this a Sith base here? Is this a Sith base? Might be a Sith base. As long as you stop talking, because those beeps hurt my ears. Oh, interesting. I guess I can help with that. Okay. Looking for IS-33 in the industrial zone? In the industrial zone. Yeah. Roy's work is never done. Is that S33? No. It's interesting to go be going through something that you don't know how to do though. I'm not going to deny that. Okay. I can only imagine what would have happened if they actually had the full time to restore this all the way. Or if they'd been able to finish this, honestly. Because th th this is interesting, just a little oofy in terms of uh, just like a couple things here and there. It's not bad. I do appreciate that they did go ahead and get it restored, though. Like, I, I'm not complaining. It might sound like it, but I'm not. go as we go along. I probably should save again, though. Probably is not a bad idea. Yeah. 
Hard manufacturing. First read. Oh, probably there. What are we supposed to do with all that culto? Nice to meet you, little one. What are you looking for in a medical facility? I don't know. Cleaning droid, yeah. This one's definitely gonna take me longer to figure out because obviously I haven't done this before. It'll just take a little bit of time. I didn't even think teammate was a recent model, honestly. I thought it was a few years old, which maybe that's still recent enough? I don't know. With all of our colonists dead, M478's guidance is necessary. Oh, hey. That I am. I just want that beeping to stop. That's what I want. I want that beeping to stop. Venting chamber, as you say. They don't talk. What are you trying to accomplish? Don't know. I'll probably figure it out as we go, though. Yeah. I am sorry, but I am busy right now. Understandable. Have a nice day. It's terrible. All this radiation, my cleaning units won't even work properly. Your cameras. Okay, so can't go in here. Which is fine, that's not a problem. Just an observation. has been deactivated, all right. Then it looked a little off. I'm not sure if that's some purpose or if that's the way it was in the first game. I can't remember, honestly. It'd be something I'd want to go ahead and double check. I'd be intrigued by that, honestly. You go to IS-33, so back we go. Ooh. 
<sighs> I know that there's some other restored content that I'm not familiar with as well. At least the HK50 factory. So I'm interested in that when we get to that as well. It's definitely weird though, because like to know that there's all this so stuff that was here, but we never actually got access to. So what was the journal entry? Okay, I think I get it. Oh, I thought it would. Okay. So I think we need to go up. Or maybe we need to go down. It's hard to tell sometimes, honestly. Definitely something that I'm working on figuring out, so it is what it is, though. Not much we can do about that. If I'm understanding correctly, we go up. And it's... Yes, okay. Damn it, too wise. Probably this one if I had to take a guess. CS45, the original information, guidance, and advisory unit of the Central Zone is at your service. CS45, the okay. original information, guidance, and advisory unit of the Central Zone. We do not usually see such recent models around here. All right. Let's see, virus protocols. What does that mean? So we'll find out. Looking for your reward. Okay. I thought it was going to have us go down or something. I don't know. some stuff. Oh, all right. Cool. That was worth it. A plus two to dexterity? Yeah, I'm fine with that. Means that he should do even more damage now, too, so. All right, I guess we can go on down now to uh, where the story... Uh, and actually do the story instead of doing side quests, so. Or side quests, I should say. My guess is that this is probably going to be another short play in it. It is funny how one of the T3's traits is dodging. Does that change for the others out of curiosity, Cynic? Um, uh, like HK47 and Goto, do you know? 
the reward, I should say. It's still funny, don't get me wrong, but it's just curious. Immediately just funny, because it's like, how's the uh, teammate gonna dodge? Robots can't, like, a model like him can't dodge easily. Parasitic. I'd just be curious. I mean, Dexterity is basically pretty useful for all the droids, I think, because I don't think they can use melee weapons, if I remember correctly. Maybe HK-47 can. I imagine Goto can't. I just want to have you stop murdering my ears, please. Droid manufacturing, huh? Right over here? Yeah, okay. Honestly, I know teammates level 24, but the sheer amount of health he has is also surprising to me because I don't remember him having this much health in the first game. I think he could only get like the basic toughness and maybe the second level, but not the last, if I remember. Maybe I'm misremembering too. Because I basically don't use the droids ever. I like them, but I mean, they're usually not as good, so. You must be the droid, ISAT. Ah, yes. I will transfer the authorization to your memory core immediately. One moment. The authorization has been uploaded. You can now access the main console in the central zone. Once you are logged in, transfer the code to IS-18's terminal. Is there anything else you wish to know? Maybe they went ahead and added some more to it since you last played it, Cynic? Like, they could have gone ahead and found some more content that they kept restoring? Certainly. Please wait a one moment. According to the information in the database, there are currently 6,927 droid units. Is there any... 6,927, okay. So I think we just need to go back talk to that guy. So, yeah, I mean, I would imagine there might still be work. Well, they were still working on it, but I will say it definitely does feel longer. And from what I've read, I think this is only HK and Goto's dialogue options would have been interesting. It's true, but teammates best boy. Like, y you can't not love teammate, but you're right. They w definitely would have been interesting. I did think about sending HK 47 because I just do not like Goto. I'm sure there's people that do, but I'm not a big fan of his.
Okay. I think we just need to go down below then. <clears throat> the beeping is driving me insane. <laughs> Maybe we need to go. Okay, I maybe, maybe. I think I think I'm. I think I'm figuring that out. I think we gotta go back up top. Honestly, as soon as we get that code, which is fine. There is a lot of back and forth. Pardon me. Which immediately, fetch quests are not my favorite. I don't think they're really anybody's favorite. Truth be told. I don't think this is the right one. I think I know exactly where we need to go, but I want to go ahead and double check so, so we have less backtracking, not more. Yeah. Mainly since we have to come back down here anyways, it wouldn't save on the backtracking that much, but still. That little bit of saved backtracking might have been appreciated. I will not deny that. You'd really think they would cover or um, clean up all the dead bodies, but I guess not yet. What are you doing back here? Maybe he got stuck. Every time I click that one, he just disappears. Not this one, though. So high, and we go ahead and recover our, our health with a mo um something we installed on HK47 that helps a lot. As I said, that dexterity does seem to be coming in, coming into play, honestly. Shields damaged, okay. No, one second. Before I go ahead and do this, why don't I just save before I make a mistake?
The vent chamber, okay. Now we need to go to the vent chamber, fair enough. Not really sure why they decided to attack us though, but eh. Whatever. And listen, I was wanting to shoot something anyway, so. Not exactly that upset by us having to shoot something. I will not deny that. Stop right there. We are investigating two dead droids in a central zone. That these murders occurred so soon after the arrival of outsiders is suspicious. Identify yourself. I believe you. However, we have never seen such new utility droids on the planet. I'm afraid we have to place you under arrest. Is that so? Consider the arrest overruled. You aren't allowed to leave the planet, however, pending the investigation. I kind of want to see what HK-47 would have said. Hurry up and fix the reactor leak, then return to us. Fair enough. No. Oh. Interesting. Love me to the moon. Do 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 do. Do 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 do. In other words, do do do. No, I just want you to stop beeping at me. What do you mean? What? I mean, it kind of was. So something should be open. My guess is we need to go back up top Again Maybe Yeah, there's no other okay. Yeah, probably back up top again then Interesting, because this just means a lot. As I said, this is just a back and forth quest, which is not not my favorite. I'll live with it. Not much else I really can do except for live with it, honestly.
Well, I mean, we are on a droid planet, so it's not like that would be a bad thing for us to equip. We're either going to... I have an idea of where we're headed, honestly. One of two places. Either the M478 thing, or where the Sith um, gate is. I think we should be done with this planet by the time we have to end here in about an hour and 20 minutes. I could be wrong, but we'll see. Okay. I'm hoping this is right. Ugh. I mean, there's not really any other place to go, that's the thing. as far as I'm aware. There's a droid we're missing talking to. I can see that. Shouldn't be this, because this is just legit. Yeah. Welcome back. You want to hear again? Unfortunately, however, IS-18 being responsible. IS-18 is currently working on a solution to the high radiation con. Is there anything? Oh yeah. Okay. Well, that's something, actually. I haven't thought about that. We can try that in a second. That's a good question. I did look at that earlier. Uh, transfer the second part of the code from the central zone computer to the vent chamber. Let's see. We did talk to him, and I thought he said he opened the door. Yeah. If I have to, I will look this up. That's not that big a deal on my part. Do I prefer it? No. I want to struggle a little bit, see if I can figure it out. I do like to at least go ahead and try. Hurry up and fix the reactor leak, then return to us. I'm trying, I'm trying. Okay, where's the shot? Hmm. 
Not that. I have no more information for you. I need to get back to my duties. I should pay a little more attention while this droid was talking, honestly, but his beeping just is unpleasant. And it's like, I don't want to talk to him for more than I have to, which is partially my fault. I won't deny that. Yeah, I guess I'll look this up. Hold on. M4-78 walkthrough. What do you mean there was an error access in this? Let's see. Keep it quilted means you keep it the best. Keep no, go away. Let's see. Looks like they chose teammate as well, which is interesting. Okay.
think we're close. Okay, I think I figured it out, which I tried this a little earlier. Yeah, there, there is. It, I did try this. It just didn't work. Let's see, 6927. Maybe it just is a specific angle. That's stupid. I tried that. I did try that. You all saw it. I tried it from the other side, mind you. Yeah, I tried it from the right. Let's see. So I maybe you just have to do it from the left instead of the right. Not sure why that is, but it's like I did try it. I did not. Uh, I, that was like, yeah. That's a little. Yeah. Listen, I'm if it's something like that, I'm willing to accept it because like, OK, this was something that probably should have worked. But hey, it, it, it's a thing that happens, especially. Yeah, usually they don't have people in front of consoles like that for this reason. Oh, may I help you? If the number was correct, it could not have been rejected. Are you sure you entered the number equal to the actual amount of droids active on M478? I am sorry, but the only thing I can tell you is that the amount of droids, apart from that, I do not... My authority allows me to access the database only once a... I am merely a replacement unit for another droid, whom we've lost contact with shortly after the radiation... Okay, I have an idea. Yeah, so it should be 6925. Like, okay. As soon as I saw that, it's like, okay. The two we blasted. Okay, so six nine two five. Cool. So lucky that it's lucky that there's not a bunch of people getting killed. Or droids getting killed that could go ahead and just fluctuate that entirely. I guess that means it's time to turn ourselves in. Ah, you have returned. Oh. Were your efforts successful? Your droid has successfully stopped the source of the radiation and has reset the environmental systems. Yes, it is safe for organics to enter. Oh yeah, that's always what I take. Alright, so now we can actually probably go do some more fun stuff.
Still can't explore the corpses though. Unfortunate. Hello, human. I wasn't sure you guys would have something new to say. Technically, I mean that was technically new. Oh, this corpse is explorable now. All right. Pardon me. What about you? Are you Listen, I'm not complaining. I'm just a little disappointed. <laughs> oh well. It is an immense pleasure for me to welcome the very first organic in the colony of M478 since the arrival of the colonists. I am CS36, the official information... Also, people are looking better now. Or the robots are looking... Service. The game is looking better now. I guess it was because it was trying to go for a radiation link. assistance possible, I will first have to know the reason for your arrival in the colony. A Jedi Master here. It is highly unlikely any Jedi Knight would have come here, given who the colonists are. Furthermore, the whole colony is monitored by security cameras. If a Jedi actually appeared on the planet, we would know about their presence immediately. What you ask exceeds my authority, unfortunately. Droids on M478 are restricted from accessing security cameras. However, IS-24 and ES-05 have superior powers. They are allowed to monitor their respective zones they govern. Due to recent events in the colony, the environmental zone is inaccessible at the moment. But if any organic is present in the industrial zone, IS-24 will know about it. Then you would have to gain access to the environmental zone to ask ES-05 for help. Though, like IS-24, she is limited to monitoring her respective zone only. Only M478 possesses access to security cameras for the whole colony. The problem is that he was deactivated years ago by the colonists. I can reveal to you that IS-24 and ES-05 have the power to reactivate M478 with their combined authorizations, but you will need to speak with them about it. You will need to gain support from both of them. With the environmental zone closed, you should go to the industrial zone first and speak with IS-24. Fair what enough. would you like to ask about next? It was a disaster. Due to unknown reasons, the radiation has flooded the entire industrial and the central zones. As the result, all of the colonists were killed in a matter of seconds. We do not know. We still have not managed to determine the reason why it flooded the colony. The radiation has first appeared in the industrial zone, at the time when I was shut down for scheduled maintenance. However, based on the data provided by other units, it is known that most of our masters in the industrial zone were killed almost immediately. That's good, I Only think? Only a few managed to escape to the central zone, which was flooded with the radiation soon after. When I was reactivated, everyone was already dead here. I... The colonists are one of many of the Sith factions spread across the whole galaxy. They are warriors and wise men at the same time. They use an inconceivable power that you cannot see, hear, or touch, the Force. A few years ago, they finally arrived and were greatly impressed by what we managed to achieve during the preparation years. Once the Sith were settled, they replaced M478 as the administrators of the planet and began utilizing the manufacturing capabilities of the colony. We droids are here to aid them. I guess we're here because they're not here anymore. I will... The colony was established for the colonists to utilize the planet's rich natural resources. To make that happen, we first had to prepare the planet for their arrival and the initiation of the droid manufacturing process, which ultimately used most of our resources. My apologies, but further deep. Fair enough. 
Though I am flattered that you assume I actually possess confidential data, I am afraid that I will not prove to be very helpful to you at this time. The only thing I can tell you is that the main priority of the colony is the mass production of combat droid units. I hope this information will be sufficient for you. What would you like to ask? This colony was established some years ago. The exact time is unknown to me. The whole facility consists of three sections. The central zone, the industrial zone, and the environmental zone. We are currently located in the central zone, the administrative section. The main behavior core, located just behind me, houses M478, the Supreme Archon itself. Up until the arrival of the colonists, M478 was in charge of preparing the planet for colonization and extraction of its resources. He is the supreme droid intelligence on the planet and falls only under the colonist jurisdiction. After their arrival, M478 was shut down and the colonists took over full control of the colony. The industrial zone is the center of all the activities related to extracting, processing, and utilizing this planet's resources in the manufacturing process. The Archon 2 behavior core, located at the end of the industrial zone, houses IS-24, the first assistant Archon, and the governor of the whole sector. The environmental zone is governed by ES-05, the second assistant Archon located in the Archon-1 behavior core. ES-05 is responsible for managing the transformation process of the planet's environment. Unfortunately, the reason for the entrance to the environmental there was some sort of a fight in the central... <laughs> Based on our studies, the planet is approximately three and a half billion years old. The temperate climate combined with an abundance of natural resources, such as rich metal ore deposits, make this world a perfect place for colonization. It is why we were surprised to find no traces of any settlement from the past once we arrived. It seems that the galaxy was completely unaware about this planet's existence until the colonists discovered it. What would you like to ask about next? This colony runs smoothly and efficiently. A cantina would be ineffective and serves no objective purpose. But what, what about like Pazak? About next? Pazak is always worth it. Give me Pazak! Of course not. Most of our droids have mining lasers and torch lasers, but only for repairs and construction. I've heard that before. most droids here are not programmed for violence. Our security droids will always attempt non-violent apprehension before resorting to more lethal means. I assure you that there is no cause for alarm. That issue... The escort droid next to me. Official escort droid of the... I can take you to every... Interesting. Uh, honestly, if it didn't happen to be that I need to go ahead and explore again Welcome for loot and stuff. Are you interested in some droid equipment? I am not originally from this Pardon planet, me. so I don't have a designation like other droids on this planet. So you may address... Not exactly, but with M47. I suppose I could tell a potential customer. Yeah, tell me. Once the Sith arrived on the planet and shut down M478, I was finally able to prevent myself from being memory wiped all the time. You see, M4 had the security droids under tight control. Once he was deactivated, I was able to slip past them when they were sent to me for violating the planet's memory wipe protocols. Adhering to my original design, and with the aid of the Sith, I was able to infiltrate many of the storage facilities in the colony. I usually sold my merchandise to the Sith, who weren't pleased with just being the colonists and doing what they pleased. They needed even more. They also needed droid parts already set aside for maintenance for current droids, an order even the colonists couldn't circumvent. So I acquired them for the Sith for a moderate fee, 
With the Sith dead, however, I am forced to sell to others, like yourself. entirely sure where I originated. I presume my primary function was to acquire items without the knowing of the target. I was made to be a thief. A very good one, I might add. Oh, you don't have to worry about me robbing you, however. I only steal from targets given to me. No one has ordered me to steal from you. Of course, as I said, I am not a droid of this planet. However, telling anyone would amount to blasphemy, so I keep it to myself, to keep safe. And I suggest you do the same, Jedi. Yes, you're listed to me as a Jedi Guardian and a veteran of the Mandalorian War. Interesting. And this robot knows more than I was expecting. That's all the information I have on your person. I cannot tell you where I've gathered. Even though I cannot feel it, communication protocols dictate me to tell you, I'm sorry. I might be interested. I'm curious what you got. But I also don't want to buy junk, well, so. Hope you enjoy your purchase. Can I... Ah, you like... Can I... Not worth it. Well, not the authorities wouldn't be interested. They only one may proclaim that my acquiring droid spare parts will harm. Dro in other yeah not for that that's highway robbery maybe there's a good item at the end eventually when you get charged i just don't have enough credits for all of that so i'm like no i'm good Bar me want to talk to you in a second What can I help you with? Okay. All right. Do that. Lots more quests while they're here. Not surprised by that, honestly. Not problematic either, just, yep. It's KOTOR, which is a good thing. More KOTOR is good. Okay. Just wanted to make sure. I mean, can't hurt. I mean, I guess it could, but... Probably wouldn't. I don't have it. But neither did your industrial zone's counterpart. 
Wait, so you lost the prototype? That is disastrous. We will find it. We have to. We better. Hmm. It would be so much easier if I still had that new behavior core scanner. You just cannot leave anything in this colony in the side this. Oh, I am sorry. I did not notice you. I am CS12, a maintenance unit. What can I do for you? A new droid behavior core scanner I got only a week ago. I only left. One of IS-43's cleaning droids took it. IS-43 terrorizes his units with his high efficiency. That is why the cleaning units now consider anything lying on the ground as trash and immediately remove it. It was my fault anyway, as I should not have left the scanner lying around like that. I have already tried to retrieve the scanner, but IS-43 said searching for it would take too much time and decrease their efficiency, thus restricting the utility droids and trash compactors. These are not the droids you're looking for. How are you doing, Hams? I still have my old scanner, which, although outdated, is still operational. Do not bother about it. Given my duty, I of course possess larger... Although commerce was not taken into account when I was a... You may be interested in the prototype behavior core upgrade IS-62, a medical unit, passed to me. He found it in a medical shipment from last week. He thinks it must have... Additionally, it appears to be an illegal modification, thus I cannot inst... I don't think there's anything I'm really interested in, to be quite honest. Yeah? Okay. Alright. I just want to make lunch, waiting for the priest to visit and bless us. Nice! I will be right back. I'm going to make a G Fuel real quickly, because I haven't had one today. And also because I need to take my pills. I meant to take them before I ate, and then I forgot to. So I wanted to wait three hours. It's been three hours now, so I'm going to go do that. I will be right back. Burying doesn't work and I hate it, so you can suffer and die. I didn't find a way. And then there's a lot of people replied in the chat, in, in, in comments on the forum saying, hey, well, actually, if you just hold the right click button, <laughs> <laughs> to doi. Um, <laughs> so that's that's all. Um, this mod is not perfect. I'm going to, let me just like rip uh, the bandage off for the most painful thing I've discovered in this mod. If you want to... Like, for example, when you write your name... For, for a you, I guess you could have one for a minute, yes, but not right now. Right now? Not right now. What? I don't know. Later. Not right now. Alright, so that will do it for today. Day. I'm hoping to be able to grind out the manticore before we come back. Yes! 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 Come on! Come on! Let's do this, baby! Let's do this! Let's do this, baby! I need it! No shortcuts. Do we have any more power cells or can we kill the goal? Uh, oh, never mind! I didn't run the Do we have one. any more My power bad. cells? Apparently! My bad! I regret everything! The worst part is this is the second time now that I've done this. I'm gonna need that grenade launcher back from you. I might have a use. <laughs> I'm, that's all, I mean, actually, um, Caution does have a good point. The fact that you're feeling better is indeed the better thing, so I am also glad to read that you are feeling better. I am just focusing on Guild Wars and not on your personal health, and now I feel really bad about that, because I, somebody that I do, uh, youth group with actually was pointing this out, uh, I think last night or sometime recently, how people basically only talk about themselves and don't ask about how other people and like the muskets, what I'm using that's right a hard now, question. but I've, I've leveled up the the bow quite a bit too. But I just, it's interesting. So like, you you can specialize in all these things if you want. <laughs> Honestly, yeah, I'm not trying to. I'm not sponsored by Bezo Bucks. 
Although I'll gladly take his money. But um, he is sponsored by Swifty. Swifty, isn't that from? That's from Rick and Morty, yes. Can the big cat be voiced by John St. John Punch? So great was the peril, he could turn to no one else. On the hunt, no one could match his speed, his guile. Oh! <laughs> Oh hey, I started streaming and I started typing right away. I'm good at this. One second. Twenty dollars, that's about forty probably about sixty bucks. So I mean like, you know, little by little it doesn't matter, but over time. They're double prices. That's disgusting, Steven. Like that's really gross. I am so sorry for you guys, and I know that you guys happen to ha have to deal with a lot, because it's like... Uh, for the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us on the whole world. Eternal Father, I offer you the body and blood soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, in atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us in the whole world. No, uh -huh. Phil! How may I be of assistance? This is nothing to worry about. We can handle a situation. It's merely a misplaced and not fully operational droid upgrade scavenged from a part of another old droid which we found in a manufacturing center.
My purpose is to serve the colonists. Why would I ally myself to our enemy? You are the environmental unit. What's your point? <laughs> I have recorded it with my own photoreceptors. There are a lot of environmental units in the colony. I assure you, none of them are working against the colonists. Never done, so much work left. Thank you for pointing that out. I didn't realize it was muted. I've been talking. I've been talking to you guys. Thank you, Homs. Appreciate it. I feel stupid. That happens on occasion. Um, from also to address what you were saying earlier, Cynic so cannot be rude. To I can't remember everything I was saying since I got back, but um. Oh wait, yeah, I do remember part of it. That that would explain why there's no input on that. Okay, good, good to know. Um, so two different things. I do not use energy shields, Cynic. Are they very good? I've never seen much use to them. They haven't seemed to prevent much, so I haven't had an interest in them. Uh, the second thing, I've been thinking about doing a subathon the week before my birthday because if I, I can't do it the week of my birthday. I was thinking I'd start at three hours and be willing to go up to 24 hours for every sub I got and have other incentives. I was wondering whether if you guys thought that might be a good idea slash be interested in that or if I should go ahead and have some, um, whatchamacallit, um, editor incentives is what I'm trying to think of. What are we supposed to do with all that? Welcome to our medical facility. So something I've been thinking about. Yes, I do. Anything from that of course. I'll give you a 70% discount. For now, anyway. I sell medical supplies on a droid planet. With the death of our colonists, I lost customers. All of them. I have got enough medical supplies for a whole colony to survive, and no one is able to use them. I might as well sell them for some ridiculously low price. Not wrong. Where? 
Maybe my supplies could help people on that planet, but transporting medical equipment to another planet. How nice of Med packs, life support packs, cold toy. Browse through my inventory. What else do we got? Not great there, so, okay. Yeah, I am sorry. I was not trying to ignore you guys. I just could not. I did not realize I had that muted, apparently. I think we're going to have to go back to Corban, or not Corban, but um, Narshada here eventually. Seems like there's some quests that could do some overlapping here and other things. Stop right there. Your utility droid has tried to escape arrest. Hand him over to the authorities. Now, failing to comply will be seen as an act of assault and will be met with force. You have been warned. This is your final warning. Defend yourself. Okay, I was trying to do that peacefully, but apparently the game just decided not to allow that. <laughs> Oh, these guys actually have more... Alright, hold on. More where that came from! Alright, now we can take them. Everyone down! More where that came from! It's a little more, uh... Terrible than I was expecting, to be honest. I mean, I was totally fine with turning him in, honestly, and then we could go ahead and talk about it and be like, okay, listen, we weren't trying to kill everybody. I'm sorry, I can go ahead and repair them. Blah, blah, blah. It's like, we can get this hoarded out, and they're like, nah, we're gonna bla start blasting. It's like, okay. I mean, that's not what I want to do. Merely they're droids, so they don't matter, but at the same time, it's like, listen, I'm willing to come along peacefully. You just gotta go ahead and work with me instead of, li instead of not listening. They don't want to listen, so... Like, fine, fine. Oh, and what's up with the dial-up internet? I was saying that earlier, Hums. Um, some of the, they made some of the droids sound like dial-up internet. Not a big fan of that. Not sure why that was the decision they went with, not gonna lie. It is a weird choice. Surrender your weapon. What are you trying to accomplish? You can point your weapons at me all you want, but you will not be able to shoot at me or any other droid in M478. You cannot continue past this point. A malfunction. He is malfunctioning. He's trying to harm other units. War units have a higher authority. We can harm another unit if we perceive it as a threat. This industrial unit, however, is not a threat. An unauthorized upgrade has been installed in his mainframe, causing him to act in such an unstable way. It is like he wanted to destroy something. But did he? Will do. Okay, I think I know what's going on with that. You cannot continue. Does permit me to attack. 
attack an organic. You will face all of us if you do so. He can attack organics? That's a stupid design. What if the colonists were still alive and this thing started killing them? That's a good question. Why would they want that? To protect them from organic attackers. There has been a critical error in your programming. Surrender your weapon and go to maintenance. I will consider it after killing this human. If you attack, we all will. I have superior upgrades. We'll see about that. Oh, okay. Stop being safe. I could destroy you five times over by now. You know what? Fine. I was saying I could have. No, oh, maybe not. He actually has some good defense. Gotta give it to him. A weakness Just like real bots, uh, yep. So oh, dang, he's actually uh You shall know pain. Oh dang. There we go. Okay. He has twenty eight. All right, we can go talk to him then. Yeah. Yeah. These bots do have no chill. <laughs> that is true. Well, oh, manufacturing. I misread that as malfunctioning. Oh, hello. I am IS. What sort of droid? New maintenance and construct combat droids are the main priority. Hmm, pardon me. Okay, we haven't gone this one yet. And some components. We don't see those as often as I'd like to, admittedly. Admittedly, we also don't use components as often as I'd like to because it's hard for some um, instances. I was wondering if these guys were going to attack, mind you. I was kind of hoping that they wouldn't. Oh well. But yeah. I am contemplating doing a subathon. Wasn't sure if people would be interested. If people aren't interested, I won't go ahead and do it. Um, trying to think of other things that might be fun, like I guess I if we... I heard your conversation with IS-62. I have to object to you exporting our culto to Telos. There are other Sith-controlled planets in this galaxy. The recent attack on the colony activated instructions hidden in my memory banks. I am to send all our cultural supplies to another planet where it may be picked up by the Sith. It's regrettable that I cannot stop you. Yeah, listen, I'm not gonna go ahead and let the Sith get that culto. Sorry, fam. I mean, I guess I'm not sorry, but still, like, yeah, that's not gonna happen. It was it over here? Yeah. Do you know anything about our missing prototype? Let me see. Yes, that is a part I was talking about. Where did you find it? I cannot answer that. When we discovered it was missing, we had no idea who took it. 
Now that I know it was installed into a battle droid, I have even less of an idea who could have done it. Fair. With the Sith dead, I could persuade IS-24 that this upgrade is too dangerous to use in our droids. You can have it. Thank you. How may I be of I am in... I do not. I only give requisition or... Okay. I got one quest done, so that's good. Back down we go. I will say, now that the fog is, or the radiation fog is gone, this area is looking a lot better. This was not looking great, but now it's like, yeah, you know what, this is acceptable. I don't know if I'd say it's perfect, but it's like, you know, yeah, that's okay. It's okay. I don't remember the lava being active last time we were through here, and maybe it wasn't. Would not surprise me to learn that it wasn't. Please do not bother me, I have too much work to do. Our efficiency is decreasing rapidly as we speak. I am responsible for administrating all the cleaning activities in the colony, which includes dispatching assignments between the utility units and monitoring the whole process. Keeping the colony in perfect hey, condition is not an easy task. We are always swamped with work, and the recent events only made it worse. So please, do not waste any more of my time. How dare you say I'm wasting your time? Make it quick. My time is too precious to waste it like that. For the Maker's sake! I can already see how our weekend efficiency report will look like. Go ask such questions to CS36 or CS45. Okay. I mean, listen, you don't really need to worry about efficiency if you're, uh, if the Sith aren't here anymore, just saying. Your beeping annoys me. I hope what won't spread to over here. Probably we'll find out here eventually. With the radiation leak gone, we can work on restoring the colony. I wonder if there's any force powers that can stop radiation poisoning. I just have an awful feeling the radiation poisoning is going to come back, so that's why I'm kind of curious. Fair enough, alright. What's the cleaning droid doing? Attention all units in Sector 11B. This area is in perfect condition now. Return to the droid manufacturing immediately. You I mean except for that, uh, corpse behind you, right? Yes, I know that CS-12 thinks one of you accidentally took his behavior core scanner. I have already told him to look for it in the storage. I am sure he has left it there. Again. But to avoid such problems in the future, I have restricted access to all of the cleaning unit's trash containers. No one unauthorized will be able to access them and interfere with your duty now. It was some rough French How do you mean, Father Tracky? Again. Signing off. I'm waiting. There we go. Idiot! 
Don't. Don't. This door. Don't. <laughs> That's the voice acting. <laughs> Attention all units in Sector 11B. This area is in perfect condition now. Return to the droid manufacturing immediately. I have new assignments for you. Interesting. Well, guess we'll have to go find the droid. My favorite. Co I'm sorry the coffee isn't okay. I'm glad you're okay though. And it, yeah, it, it definitely seems like there's a droid takeover or something going on here. The industrial zone is certainly the prime zone of M470. Unfortunately, this, this planet really is just a lot of running back and forth. It is. It's not my favorite. What's going on there? Go back to. All right, we'll go talk to IS forty three, which I think we needed to talk to him anyway. So. you're a droid the answer to that is no this is restored content father i have not played this before i apologize i didn't see your comment initially this is all new to me please do not bother me i have too much work to do it's all Our greek to me is decreasing rapidly as we speak yeah i was wondering if they might have updated it when was the when when did you last play it i guess cynic is my question pardon me My sound receptors must be malfunctioning. Are you serious? You cannot interfere with the utility droid's duty. It would result in an immediate decrease of our efficiency, followed by a major increase in the colony's uncleanness. That is why I restricted access hey, interceptor, to the utility how are you? unit's trash containers. With such a limited workforce I have at my disposal, we barely managed to fulfill the current labor schedule. And I constantly keep receiving new reports about uncleanness in every part of the colony. The colonists endowed us, the droids, with an unprecedented reliance. We cannot let them down. Warning, utility droid systems are overloaded. High risk of a critical failure. It is not recommended to dispatch any new assignments for at least three days. Efficiency, efficiency! It is the only way to fulfill our task. I cannot allow our efficiency to decrease even by a percent. I must sustain high labor figures for the glory of the colonists. Colonists are dead, though. Uh, I'm doing pretty well. I am going to be going for a bike ride here in about 25 minutes. Uh, I'm enjoying this new area, but I'm also, honestly, after playing through it, I'm okay with it having been cut. <laughs> it's like, yeah, if they had more time to polish it, it would make more sense. As is, it's basically just a lot of backtracking. Let's see. But otherwise, it's not bad. That is something I can accede to. His model is perfectly qualified for performing cleaning duties. Actually, based on all the positive opinions about T3 units' high work ethic I heard, I think our efficiency could possibly even increase with your droid working for us. Splendid. Please, send him here. As soon as he receives his assignments, I will give you authorization to access my droid's trash containers. Please do not bother me, I have... I hardly doubt you found anything my units aren't taking care of already. But should you somehow find something, you could report... Here, I will give you authorization. Let's check these last two. Let's see. Uh, maybe I can just go ahead and remove? Try this. When will your brother... I hardly doubt you found anything my units. 
But should you somehow find some... When will your... Maybe we don't need you? Where, where, where? What happened? Where'd they go? Did they somehow get, oh, hold up. Did they somehow get behind the door? Just say the word. All right. Okay. So wait, no, 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 no. I, I should not. Oh no. That might be bad. I was thinking to myself, I should not do this because I don't know. Oh no. Finally, some good news. I'm going to have to see if I can get out. League gone, organics can once again populate this facility. Perhaps now operations will finally return to normal. Now that I have expressed my happiness, I would like to offer you any information on the facility's status that you may require. I'm sure you don't want to hear this after all you've gone through to get here, but that may be a problem. No, I mean, listen, I'm not even supposed to be here yet, bro. I, I need to make sure I can get out at this point. IS-24 is located in an Archon chamber located at the other end of the Research and Development Center. Unfortunately, the chamber itself is locked and off limits to pretty much everyone. The only way to arrange a meeting with IS-24 is via I-101. Problem is, he's missing. Oh, great. It means that no one has seen him in quite some time. No, I know what missing means, you dingus. It was not my intention to make fun of anyone, no. I am deeply sorry if it felt that way. Hard to say who contacted him last. I know some droids who are, or used to be anyway, in contact with I-101 regularly. Four droids, to be more specific. Our research leader, designer droids, testers, and a lead maintenance unit. Each of them has to contact IS-24 for they have one reason it, yeah. or another. It may not be a bad thing to come back and revisit it, honestly. Farewell, and good luck then. I think they're working on fixing the glitches, too. Where is escort droid? I'm hoping there's an escort droid in here. That's my one help at the moment. I probably shouldn't go ahead and do too much here until I find an escort droid to please escort me out of here. Any escort droids? No? Okay. I mean, I could go back and save. So for those that are unaware, that door that we just got through technically shouldn't have gotten through it. And now I'm a little scared that if I don't go ahead and make sure I can... There's an escort droid. If this escort droid can't escort me back so I can get in properly, I'm worried I can't get out later. Or, you know, it'll cause some glitches, basically. It's like, nah, I don't need to deal with this. No, thanks. Official escort. I have been programmed by the colonists to serve as an... As you... Okay, further back than I would have liked, but fine. Acceptable. I'm okay with this. It's okay. Nothing is bad. We need to go back and find that droid that we saw, etc., etc., so we can get access, etc., etc. This is just oofy.
Welcome to America. Not Double you. Is supplies you With the radiation leak gone, Honestly, this isn't bad. I would just say this is slightly frustrating. It's probably... Oh, okay. Oh. Alright. This is turning into a little bit of a headache, I will not deny that. Maybe I'll get better. It's not like this is awful. But no, I'm looking forward to my bike ride today. Um, I discussed this a little bit with uh, Cynic and Homs earlier, but I am thinking about doing a 24-hour subathon, starting at three hours, and then for every sub we get at another hour uh, the week before my birthday. I wasn't sure if that was something people would be interested in? If that's something people would be interested in, I'll do it. I'm trying to think of other things I could do once we surpass, because I'm not doing more than 24 hours, so maybe if somebody gifted like a certain amount of subs, they could go ahead and choose the game I wanted to do. Listen, I know I don't like Fortnite. You know I don't like Fortnite, but if we got enough subs, I'd be willing to play Fortnite or some other games, so it's just something I've been thinking about. Okay, not that then. Why did you change around whatever okay maybe we need to go up one i mean we could check this one too that's what i thought okay fork knife bottom decks basically yeah But you know, it's something that, listen, you guys know I don't like it, but I'd be willing to do it for you. So it's like, I figured I'd offer. Um, I don't know what else I'd do aside from that. I don't have a GoPro yet. I'd have to get my exercise in. So I might have to figure out a way to like duct tape my phone to my head as I stream my bike ride for that day. Not really sure how I figured that one out quite yet, to be quite honest. It's something I am trying to figure out there. Not, not really sure what my plan is with that yet. But it's something I'm tossing around. If not this year, maybe I'll do it next year. Yeah, I just meant I know people like watching me. It's true. Humans are populated. Stop her in Fortnite. But I have to ask you some questions that have been going all over my circuits lately. Am I allowed to do so? But you are an organic human. One of the makers. Can you not answer my questions? But if you do not, then who does? Is there no one left able to tell me where we came from? Why we are needed? Who made us? We have arrived on this planet over 63 years ago. It's nearing 64, I believe. Okay. I mean, he's a robot, that's true. But I want to know... I want to... I mean, that's true, Hobbs. I mean, that's, I mean, that's true. Ask. Good day to you. How did we get dark side points for that? Use you? Four 
I am dealing with that. I don't know how we got dark side points for that. It's a robot. Okay, fine. We're back here, but we already... Back. That's fine. Wait, hold on. Hold on. That was a giant jump in dark side points. It's like, nah, fam. No, robots are not people, too. I'm not going dark side. Thank you for repairing the leak. I'm just like, fam. Guys, come on. Alright, so we gotta keep looking around, I guess, for some things. Fair enough. The devs don't understand souls. I mean, that's true. The devs don't understand morality. I agree with that entirely. It's just like, guys, the droids are here to serve. That's all. You don't have to get so deep about it, bros. Like, listen, I don't really like Rick and Morty that much these days. But the whole toaster thing is perfect. You're made to butter toast. Now, admittedly, Rick shouldn't have made it so that it felt pain and suffering from that, but still. I think this is what we need to do, but... Oh my! A high priority report! It is flagrant that I am receiving such a report only now. Does every droid in this colony have broken photoreceptors or what? Attention all units! We have a high priority report citing high trash amounts and uncleanness in the industrial zone. Prepare to increase your efficiency. Warning! Assigning another high priority report to already overloaded units may result in a critical overload. It is recommended to avoid doing so. Now oh, be quiet. I know what my units are capable of. They will be fine. <laughs> Attention units! I am sending you the parameters. Pick it up immediately, but do not abandon your previous assignments. Warning. Critical overload of all the cleaning unit systems. Oh no! This must be some kind of a mistake. My units could easily pick up even more assignments. Did I do a dark side thing? No. Uh, any game with a moral alignment system is bound to make mistakes like that, unless, of course, they pre personally understand such all the traditional morals slash ethics. Yeah. <laughs> Fallout New Vegas is probably the closest it gets to that, honestly. Um, from what I'm thinking about, it's still not perfect. Um, but it's not awful either there might be a better example but new vegas is the one that i immediately think of for one that's pretty okay about it
There you go. Oh, sure. When we blow up a bunch of robots, it's like, nah, no dark side points. But when we go ahead and tell a robot, get back to work. Nah, fam, dark side points. Okay. Fine. I can understand that, Homs. I might just wait for it to go on sale on Steam again, honestly. Or if you have an Xbox 360. This is a disaster! A complete disaster! I do not know how long it will take me to undo all the damage. I should have listened to the security system's warnings. I mean, you probably should have. That's true. All right. Once we get through this door, we're going to read from the Catechism, and then that's where we're going to end it for the day. This is not the maintenance units. unit. Okay. Well, I guess we could go there, then do a bit, a bit. Okay. That makes sense. I guess while we're here, let's talk to it again. Then we'll save. So the I have been performing my duty, but okay. yes, but by whom and why exactly? Why were we not accompanied by our constructors? Are there any other droid worlds awaiting for colonization as we are? Is there M578? I tried once, but I was told to get back to work. I was going to try again, but then they died. I do not know. Maybe the colonists' presence made me think. Maybe it's the long time I spent on this planet, and I would start wondering even if they hadn't arrived. We have arrived on this planet over 63 <laughs> years ago. It's nearing 64, I believe. Sounds good, Hums. You make sure you have a good day. God bless. Enjoy the house blessing. Good day. Yeah, okay. Fair enough. I got the experience points at least. We're out. Maybe this is where I meant to go? Good old M478. Yeah, I was gonna say, there's a lot to do here. Let's see. Maintenance unit in the central zone. Probably one of these. Maybe this one or that one? Seven eight are obligated to immediately report to maintenance droids if their units have any defects. 
CS45 has never reported about losing part of his memory core. There must be an error in my database. You could speak with him, but he cannot be the droids you were looking for. There's the line! Hums up too early! There's the line, baby! Woo! Can't be the droid you're looking for! CS45? Alright, where? Not you. Not you. One of you two, then, probably. CS45, the original information, guidance, and advisory unit of the Central Zone is at your service. Roll Feel credits, free baby! To ask me about anything. This information is restricted. As long as my programming keeps restricting me from revealing certain information, I will not be able to answer your questions regarding the Industrial Zone Lockdown. Feel free- The radiation leakage from a few days ago was a direct- I was there with the colonists in- The high density of radiation made them fall dead. The colonists assumed that the leakage of the radiation- However, no enemy was spot- But right. we cannot be sure- CS45, you feel free. I will be glad. Okay. <clears throat> the bit, yeah, the shadow is very broken. I did notice that earlier as well. Unless you get killed by him. It appears that CS45 memory core was physically damaged. Additionally, I found an unknown entry in his register which was restricting part of the data on his memory core. I am not sure where this unusual entry came from, but its presence explains why CS45 did not report to me about physical damage of his memory core. I have deleted the entry from his register. Immediately after bounds on the yeah, I, I, the I'm waiting for the big Perfect reveal for this one at the end He is the droid you were looking for Thank you for informing me about the situation. I will have to replace his damaged memory core So please if you have any business with him make it quick CS45 the original infam feel free to I am sorry, Mom, but I am still not able to do it. With the register entry that was classifying part of my data removed, I can now explain to you the reason behind my inability to help you with your problem. After the colonists arrived on the planet, they introduced several security and safety systems. I'm so my done with this. My unit with the task of preventing any intruders from getting into the second recharge station section of the industrial zone, where our most prominent colonists were located. I was supposed to seal the gate to the second recharge station section as soon as possible, if there was any attack on the colony. I was also assisting the colonists in enhancing other security systems in the industrial zone. As it seems, those have failed, unfortunately. When the radiation leaked into the industrial zone, I sealed the gate to the second recharge station section to secure our masters located there. For some unknown reason, one of the colonists tried to prevent me from sealing the gate. He fired at me. My memory core was damaged. Thankfully, I was not destroyed completely. If that had happened, the security system would have opened the gate automatically, and the enemies could have reached our masters. Unfortunately, the damage I received wiped out part of the data in my memory core along with the code to open the gate to the second recharge station.
I did not. It was my duty to seal the gates unconditionally if there was any attack on the colony. Our masters had the code to open the gate for me inside. But even if they had the time to use it, the radiation would have killed them anyway before they could reach the central zone. I did what I was programmed to do. My actions did not change anything. The radiation would have killed everyone in the colony eventually. I believe the removal of my current memory core would be classified by the security system as an annihilation of the whole unit. The gate would open automatically. Thank you for your kindness. I will report to him immediately. Thank you for your kindness. He knew. He knew I just wanted to stab him. I, I, I so did. I'm not going to deny it. I am just so done with that robot. Okay, so I think we can go and open that door finally now. What can I do for you? I will replace his broken memory core with a new one. A replacement of a memory core means that all the former assignments of the particular unit become outdated. I'm also kind of glad they cut this place. Now, admittedly, Father. I think if they'd had enough time to flush it out entirely, I would have been okay with this. Because I think they would have gone ahead and made it more interesting. Because there is a lot of talking here, and that's not necessarily bad, but there's just so much going back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. And I'm really hoping the next area is... Um, more... is less of that. I honestly think they'd had the time. Did you, Benji? That's fair. Honestly, though, I think if they'd had the time, they could have fleshed it out more. And this was probably the last area they were working on. So it's like, do I like it in the state that it's in? I'm going to be honest, not so much. But I can definitely see the potential behind it. And I would, I would, I'm glad it's here. Yeah, and I can understand that. There's definitely, there's definitely some stuff that it needed to do. I don't know if I would say that M... Like, the other stuff, Benji, I'd probably agree with, because I know that the HK-50 uh, storyline was cut. Uh, more of the ending was cut. This one, I don't remember this planet being really that critical. I could be misremembering. Because, like, I haven't played through uh, the restored content before, but I have looked up the plot points. This one, I'm still okay with being cut at the time, but I could be wrong about that. I can, I can still be convinced otherwise. I am no way from so... We will see. What can I do for you? A new droid behavior core scanner I got only a week ago. I only laid it down for a minute. Actually, while I'm thinking about it, this will be like one of the last things we do. Ow. Okay. Fair enough. We haven't checked all the repair robots yet, so... Okay, so the repair robot that I'm looking for could still be down there. I just want to make sure the door still works. I want to make sure the door works, open it, save, read the catechism, and then we'll end it there for today. Or Paul of Tarsus, whichever you guys might prefer. I think the Catechism would be nice to do today, though. Well, then I gotta get going for my bike ride, because it's like, I don't, uh, it's not cold here today, but I still gotta get out there before it gets dark. Yuck! I think it's like a high of 64 today, which is perfectly fine for bike ride weather. It's a little colder than yesterday. I'm probably going to bring my windbreaker today. I didn't yesterday, but five degrees difference. It's fairly windy today. And the other route that I went on yesterday is less shaded than today. Today is fairly shaded, so I don't know. Maybe I'll be fine without it. I'll probably be fine without it, honestly.
Because I, once I get moving on my bike ride, it's perfectly fine. Fair enough. There's another one over there. Interesting. Oh. Oh, that feels good. I'm so glad this door is finally open. <laughs> Welcome back, Tom. Talking to your mom after what, what walk was just fine. What we were about talking about it. it's going better now. Um, I hate the section. <laughs> hate is too strong a word. This section is Welcome once again organic life. Okay, we're so we, we we've been having problems left and right with the section. Um, we got a glitch where we got through in here earlier. I was worried that would cause problems. So basically, for the last hour now, I've had to go ahead and get back so we can get in here. And it's just, it's a lot of walking back and forth, which is not my favorite, honestly, uh, just cause it's a lot of investigation, that type of stuff. This is M478. So this is one of the restored, um, this is the restored content mod. And I was gonna say, I my, so I, I like the idea behind this. And I like the fact that we're seeing a lot more droids here because we don't see many droids in KOTOR 1, and we didn't see many droids in KOTOR 2. We saw some. I think, honestly, the two areas that I really remember droids being prominent for KOTOR 1 was the Tutorial Planet, which I can't remember the name of at the moment, and then um, the Water Planet, which, once again, cannot remember the name of as well. And th Those were both involving Sith bases. Those are the two places I remember the droids being most prominent, so it is actually nice to see all of these different droids here, and I do actually really appreciate that. That is something that I do happen to find to be really cool. It's just, you can tell that they didn't go ahead and have time, unfortunately, to finish this content, which isn't their fault. I don't blame them. Give me one sec, I need to answer this. Sorry, LifeServe has been calling me to go ahead and donate blood, and I've been meaning to. Um, and actually, Monday will probably work out better uh, because I can donate later. Like on Saturday, they usually close by um, 12, something like that. Um, whereas that would go ahead and make it so it'd be harder for me to donate blood, but this this works out perfectly. So that's, uh, that's swell, honestly. Yeah, let's go ahead and read from the Catechism though, and we'll end it. There for today. Um, I do want to play more, admittedly, but oh, we are out of time because I need to go for a bike ride. I really needed to start heading out a while ago, but once again, as I said, it shouldn't be that big of a problem for um this. Uh, we'll probably go ahead and raid Possum after this or Father Evan because I know Father Evan is live. Um, do you guys have a preference? I guess. Would you prefer Father Evan or would you prefer Blossom?
Uh, I can, you know, you know what would probably help make the decision a little bit easier. I can tell you what games they're playing at the moment. It looks like, um, let me load that up here. It looks like Father Evan is playing Kirby Superstar, and uh, Blossom is playing Epic Mickey too. So, mm, pardon me. But yeah, sorry. I, sorry to cut back as soon as you get back, Tom. I do need to get going for my bike ride before it gets too late in the day. But we do need to go ahead and read the catechism. So I'll go ahead and while we wait, actually, maybe I can make a poll. Yeah, we can do that real quickly. Uh, this will probably take at least three minutes. So we'll go ahead and. Yeah. The poll should be up, I believe. Just need to go ahead and yeah. There it is. Perfect. So, okay. Otherwise, I guess I can go ahead and flip a coin once we get to there. Anyways, <clears throat> we'll be reading pages 530 through 533 of the Catechism today. Yes, that is correct. So, chapter two, you shall love your neighbor as yourself. Jesus said to his disciples, love one another, even as I have loved you. In response to this, the question about the first of the commandments, Jesus says, the first is, Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God, the Lord is one, and you shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, and with all your mind, and with all your strength. The second is this, you shall love your neighbor as yourself. There is no other commandment greater than these. The apostle, St. Paul, reminds us of this. He who loves his neighbor has fulfilled the law, the commandments. You shall not commit adultery, you shall not kill, you shall not steal, you shall not covet, and any other commandment are summed up in this sentence. You shall love your neighbor as yourself. Love does no wrong to a neighbor. Therefore, love is the fulfilling of the law. Article 4, the fourth commandment. Honor your father and your mother, that your days may be long in the land, which the Lord your God gives you. He was obedient to them. The Lord Jesus himself recalled the force of this commandment of God. The apostle teaches, children, obey your parents and the Lord. This is right. Honor your father and mother. This is the first commandment with a promise, that it may be well with you, and that you may live long on the earth. The fourth commandment opens the second table of the Decalogue. It shows us the order of charity. God has willed that, after him, we should honor our parents to whom we owe life and who have handed on to us the knowledge of God. We are obliged to honor and respect all those whom God our good has vested with his authority. This commandment is expressed in positive terms of duties to be fulfilled. It introduces the subsequent subsequent commandments which are concerned with particular respect for life, marriage, earthly goods, and speech. It constitutes one of the foundations of the social doctrine of the church. The fourth commandment is addressed expressly, expressly to children in the relationship to their father and mother. But this relationship is the most universal. It likewise concerns the ties of kinship between members of the extended family. It requires honor, affection, and gratitude toward elders and ancestors. Finally, it extends the duties of pupils to teachers, employees to employers, subordinates to leaders, citizens to their country, and to those who administer or govern it. This commandment includes and presupposes the duties of parents, instructors, teachers, leaders, magistrates, those who govern, all who exercise authority over others or over a community of persons. Observing the fourth commandment brings us reward. Honor your father and your mother, that your days may be long in the land for which the Lord your God gives you. Respecting this commandment provides, along with spiritual fruits, temporal fruits of peace and prosperity. Conversely, failure to observe it brings great harm to communities and to individuals. The conjugal community is established in upon the consent of the spouses. Marriage and the family are ordered to the good of the spouses and to the procreation and education of children. The love of the spouses and the beginning of children create among members of the same family personal relationships and primordial responsibilities. A man and a woman united in marriage together with their children form a family. This institution is prior to any recognition by public authority, which has an obligation to recognize it. It should be considered the normal reference point by which the different forms of family relationship are to be evaluated. In creating man and woman, God instituted the human family and endowed it with its fundamental constitution. Its members are persons equal in dignity. The common good of its members and of society, the family necessarily has manifold responsibilities, rights, and duties. 
The Christian family constitutes a specific revelation and realization of ecclesial communion, and for this reason it can and should be called a domestic church. It is a community of faith, hope, and charity. It assumes singular importance in the church, as is evident in the New Testament. The Christian family is a communion of persons, a sign and image of the communion of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. In the procreation and education of children, it reflects the Father's work of creation. It is called to partake of the prayer and sacrifice of Christ. Daily prayer and the reading of the Word of God strengthen it in charity. The Christian family has an evangelizing and missionary task. The relationships within the family bring an affinity of feelings, affections, and interests. <clears throat> arising above all from the members' respect for one another. The family is a privileged community called to achieve a sharing of thought and common deliberation by the spouses as well as their eager cooperation as parents and the children's upbringing. The family is the original cell of social life. It is a natural society in which husband and wife are called to give themselves to love and the gift of life, and in the gift of life. Authority, stability, and a life of relationships within the family constitute the foundations for freedom, security, and fraternity within society. The family is the community in which, from childhood, one can learn moral values, begin to honor God, and make good use of freedom. Family life is an initiation into life in society. The family should live in such a way that its members learn to care and take responsibility for the young, the old, the sick, the handicapped, and the poor. There are many families who are at times incapable of providing this help it devolves then on other persons other families and in a subsidiary way society to provide for their needs religion that is pure and undefiled before god and the father is this to visit orphans and widows in their affliction to keep oneself unstained from the world the family must be helped and defended by appropriate Social measures. Where families cannot fulfill their responsibilities, other social bodies have the duty of helping them and of supporting the institution of the family. Following the principle of subsidiarity, larger communities should take care not to usurp the family's prerogatives or interfere in its life. <coughs> Pardon me. The importance of the family for the life and well being of society entails a particular responsibility for society to support and strengthen marriage and the family. Civil authority should consider it a grave duty to acknowledge the true nature of marriage and the family, to protect and foster them, to safeguard public morality, and promote domestic prosperity. The political community has a duty to honor the family, to assist it, and to ensure especially the freedom to establish a family, have children, and bring them up in keeping with the family's own moral and religious convictions. The protection of the stability of the marriage bond in the institution of the family. The freedom to profess one's faith, to hand it on, and raise one's children in it, with the necessary means and institutions. The right to private property, to free enterprise, to obtain work and housing, and the right to emigrate. In keeping with the country's institutions, the right to medical care, assistance for the aged, and family benefits. The protection of security and health, <coughs> pardon me, especially with respect to dangers like drugs, pornography, alcoholism, etc. The freedom to form associations with other families, so to have representation before civil authority. All right. And that will be where we end it for today. Oh, now I'm ready for my bike ride, honestly. I am both full of energy and tired at the same time. It's kind of a weird feeling, I won't lie. Not like it's a bad feeling, but it's just like noticeable. Noticeable is a good way to put it, I'd say. But yeah. Okay, I'm going to end it there because I do need to get going. You all have a wonderful day. God bless. And remember that God loves each and every one of you. Go and see more. Pax of Bonum. God bless. Thank you, everybody, for being here.